Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here. So I actually went ahead and go and clear all of the hidden notes here. I wanted to see exactly what all the requirements for all of them and whether there was a catch towards the end. And true enough, there's actually a secret that if you only clear one note, you probably wouldn't know this. But if you clear all the notes, there's actually a super, super big tip that I have for you, which I'll talk about in a bit. But first things first, how do you exactly unlock these notes? So the, the key to unlock these notes you can see here is make a total of 20 choices in a particular set. So like Nihility, you unlock the Nihility here and Remembrance is Remembrance and so on and so forth. All of them are the same. These choices are after you clear the boss, you have a selection of like the different path to take. You can see the icons. Those icons collectively will add up. Once you do like click it 20 times, you will unlock this hidden achievement. Uh, if that's the case, because we have a total of like seven here, we need to at least finish 100 140 bosses minimum, uh, it, the number goes up even more and more because as you guys realize, once you start completing these notes one by one, you actually will have a lot of way stages because the choices sometimes, you if let's say you clear like Remembrance and Elation and the choices so happen to come out as Remembrance and Elation, you're kind of stuck and that is like a totally wasted run. Uh, and it's going to waste you a ton of time. I went through the whole process. I learned a few tips and tricks I'll be teaching you uh, towards the later part, especially for the hardest one. Out of all of them, there's one key, one or one note that is way harder than the rest, which we'll talk about in a bit. But first things first, how do we speed run this event? If you don't care about completing, you just want to open one note. The trick here, actually, you have to go and clear uh, the this communal trial. You have to clear this like part, trail of Path Strider all the way until you unlock these like final two. Once you have the path of propagation, you will be able to speed run this event very, very quickly. So don't worry about this event for the start. Just worry about it towards the end after you clear like path of propagation if you're going for completion bonuses as well. If you guys are interested, I have another video on the channel teaching you exactly how to speed run these notes as well, these normal notes. Take a look. Uh, I think you'll be quite interested in that if you don't have too much hours to grind. I spent a total of 12 hours non-stop grinding to unlock these ones, but I will shorten the time for you down by so, so much uh, if you stay with me to the end of the video. Uh, in order to go in, what you want to do is actually go into this note here, this uh, simulated universe Swarm Disaster 1, because it's the easiest, it allows you to speed run very quickly. What I do is I actually played mostly with this team comp, uh, excluding Luota for the most part, is because my uh, Yukong here is not geared. So I just go for like a very quick one shot team comp, you can go it also. And once you start the simulator in the universe, you actually want to go for this path of propagation. This one is super, super useful, the path of propagation. And let me just demonstrate like why is it so good. Okay, so what I do whenever I go into one of these maps here, I'm just going to press uh, Imbibital Lune or whatever character you have that runs the fastest. You can just go in and just smack this guy the, towards the end of the first mob. Uh, you can see it's going to be super fast. So because of some like destruction buff that I had, it immediately wipes, wipes them out. So you can come in here, press this cheat, select the golden one. This is for Path of Propagation, a special attempt. Then you just click next, you go to this final boss here. You can immediately skip all that unger bunger in between. It'll speed up the time by a lot. I don't care exactly what I'm getting because uh, the team most likely will be able to one-shot them if you gear your, your characters correctly to get a one-shot. I like to use Imbibita Lune, but really you can use any character that you have that is uh, AoE in nature to help you speed run the, the bosses. So here, as you can see, I'm just going in, smacking this boss uh, just to go for a one-shot build. You can tune your roster accordingly also. I think like two... I, I'm running three characters for those of you who are wondering why I only have three. It's because I don't care too much about ultimate animation. It wastes a lot of time. I'd rather just like speed run it. So three characters is all I need to one shot. I fine tune it many times. I ran this event like 100 and 100 plus, 140 uh, to 200 times already. So I know a lot of mistakes that could have been avoided. So that is how, how you get it. So after you clear the first boss, I don't care about this unless you're going in. You can see these um, these prompts. This is what I'm talking about. So when you come here, you actually have like a selection choice. In order to get like the preservation hidden one, you need to click the preservation one 20 times. In order to get elation, you need to click like elation 20 times and so on. For me, I already clicked them both. So I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Straight away, you can just click end and finalize. So that is like the, the cheat code of how to do one run very quickly, which I think a lot of other people will also mention. But what, and now comes like the second part of it. As you guys know, as you slowly complete one note by one note, once you get these hidden achievements, you will actually have less options to go by. What do I mean by that? Once you clear like destruction, nihility, you clear remembrance, elation, etc, etc. The choices that you get, you will realize that there's going to be a lot of wastage. Sometimes when you're looking for that final note, it's going to be very, very difficult to find. And out of them, all of all of them, there's actually one that is the hardest to find. And that actually will be the path of the hunt. 
Okay, so what is the most important thing that I think I need you to take away? Other than Han being the hardest, why do I say that? It's because out of all of these 43 different parts that are appearing, these are basically the stories that you collect after you beat the boss. Uh, they'll show you the options available. Out of the 43 of them, only 5 of them actually have the hunt in them, which is a very, very small percentage. So it's going to be the rarest, and I took the longest time. I took like 6 hours non-stop grinding to complete the hunt. The rest of them only took like 2 hours plus of non-stop grinding. So the tips that I have for you is always choose hunt. That's like the biggest priority if you are just starting out and you have no idea what to do. If you are maybe towards the end of uh, the competing all and you are finding hunt very difficult to snipe and complete and you are maybe searching this video to figure out how to do the hunt, here is the tactic of how you actually can snipe the hunt because I'm sure for most of us it's going to be the last one. Out of all of these like different parts, there is only five and I'm going to tell you the five that have um, the hunt as well. So you can just write it down on a piece of paper or you can just revisit this video. La Lapis Mart 6 is one of them. The next one that has it is Tragedy and Insects 3 and 4. And the la there's only two more that has it. And that is Beyond the Sky Choir no part number 3 and The Architects part 2. Now this is very important to know is because how the you, to understand how the simulated universe works in this swamp disaster is when you go into a first plane, they will give you the first part of a tree series. Which means that if you go in, it will be either this part 1, this part 1, like the first plane will be this, this, this so it's always like the first part in a trilogy of series or it will be this uh, tragedy in sex 4 or, or tragedy in sex 1 and bounty hunter will either be part 1 or part 4 and here lapis smart you will be you either start off with like part 1 or part 4 and same for sand king you will always start off with part 1 part 4 or part 7 and what that means is this tells you whether you need to go to the next stage, the next plane. A lot of uh, other content creators might not know this because they only just go in once and get out. What this means, if you are trying to snipe, for example, the hunt, there's only one chance that you actually can get it and that is from this uh, Tragedy and Insects 4. This is the only time you will see it in plane number one. Other than that, you need to go to plane two and plane three to actually collect the hunt, which is something that I think is very, very important for you guys to know as well. So after doing this, what is the strategy exactly? If you are going into the plane the first time, you run in and then you get, for example, anything if you see Bounty Hunter, you can just, it's a useless one for Hunt, you will never find Hunt there. If you get Lapismat 1, it's useless because you will never get on to 6 because it's a trilogy. You have to start off with Lapismat 4, then you will have 6 at the final boss plane. Uh, if you see Sand King, you can forget it, there's no Hunt in there. So that is two things to know. These ones... Tragedy and Insect, if you start off with part 1, you have to go all the way to the final boss to get part 3 and that's where you collect Han. If you are uh, starting off with part 4, you're very lucky, it's the, my favourite one because plain 1, you can immediately get the Han, you can get out. Uh, if you go on to the next ones, there's nothing else in there. So you can just like speed up your time as well. Nothing in Geno's Society as well. Gondola also has nothing, they'll give you part 1, part 4. 9 of them have Han and of course, uh, beyond, if you get beyond, you have to go all the way to part 3 which is like the final boss, clear that final boss to get the hunt. And architect, you can go just to the second plane, uh, you will find it here as well. And that is like my top tip of how you know how to plan your runs. So knowing this, if I could do it all over again, what I would do is I actually would plan from the start. If I see there is a, is a category that has the hunt in the final part, I will make sure that I push all the way to the end. Uh, for that particular run. If But if I know like I'm playing a run and let's say I have nothing unlocked yet, I have like a free choice of doing whatever, which means my wastage is going to be super low because I can just go in the first one, exit, go in and exit. But if I know that the phase 2 or phase 3 has hunt, I will go in and collect it. Uh, this one really is like the hardest one for all of y'all. And the last general tip that I have is try to clear all of your notes equally. Don't like min-max one and just complete one by one. You want to go through like each choices, make sure it's different from the last so you get them evenly spread out to maximize your time. Do check out these uh, video right here. I'll teach you how to like get the path of propagation so you can speed up your runs even faster. Or maybe you don't have the com, the team comms to, to trial these things yet. I'll, I actually show you a tactic of how I actually use a free to play team to clear all the way to like difficulty 4 so you can get the path of propagation to start doing this as well. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.